How to determine the critical path and project duration. In this video we are going to determine the critical path of a sample project with clarifying the basics of key scheduling terms. Project network diagram, critical path, predecessor and successor activities, total float, free float. In this example A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I are the activities. Numbers above the boxes are the durations. Activity B is a predecessor activity that logically comes before a dependent activity F in this network system. Activity F is a successor activity that logically comes after the activity B. There is a finish to start relationship between B and F. We will make forward pass and backward pass calculation to calculate the earliest start and finish dates, latest start and finish dates. Then we will easily determine the critical path and the project duration. Step 1. Forward pass calculation. Forward pass calculations specify the minimum dates at which each activity can be performed and, ultimately, the minimum duration of a project. Starting with the first activity A, the project begins at the date 0. So the earliest start date of activity A is 0. 0 plus 7 is the earliest finish date of activity A. After completing all the earliest date calculations, we will know that the planned duration of this project is 63 days. In order to determine the critical path, we will make backwards pass calculations. Step 2. Backward pass calculation. Backward pass calculations determine the latest dates by which each activity can be performed without increasing the project's minimum duration. Now our starting point is the activity I unlike forward pass calculation. We will subtract the duration because we are going back. For the activity I, 63 minus 13 gives the latest start date. This is the latest finish date of both activity H and G. After completing all the latest date calculations, we will have that figure. Step 3. Float calculation for each activity. Total float is the amount of time that an activity can be delayed without delaying the project completion date. Total float is zero on the critical path. For the activity C, total float. Late stars minus early start equals 17 minus 7 equals 10. Or total float. Late finish minus early finish equals 27 minus 17 equals 10. Step 4. Identifying the critical path. The critical path is the longest path in the network diagram and the total float of the critical path is zero. In this example the critical path is on the A, B, F, H, I activities. 